Yo, what is going on, guys? It is T.O. here, and I am back with the pickups. In this episode, I'll be focusing on my pickups from, I believe, um, like, the end of September to, um, um, October 3rd. I can't remember the exact date in September, but it's the end of September, pretty much, last week of, last week of September. English is not my virtue, apparently. Oh, you're probably already wondering what the hell I'm wearing. Got this at a thrift shop before. I mean, I think it suits me pretty well, considering that I am Bob Saget, so... I literally bought this, like, before I even got the picture. Like, yeah. You've probably seen that on Facebook, if you have me added. If not, I'll just put it here in the video. Yeah. I'm... I'm Bob Saget. Just, just, just accept it, okay? <laughs> no, but anyways. Yeah, I bought this before I even did that, so I just thought... I got it because it was random, and now it's just more relevant as each day goes on, so... Here we are. And plus, I'm cold, so... So anyways, let's get started here. So, first up here, I did a trade with uh, Charles from the Pittsburgh Gaming Group. I traded him Super... Mm, no, Mario Super Sluggers, flipping that around, for the Wii. Um, Mario Party 8, and um, Soul Calibur 3. My, my brain was just not working there for a sec, holy hell. I traded him those three games, you know, it's like, extras games, you know, I had whatever, got them for cheap anyways, who cares. So I traded them for that, and I got, in return, for the Dreamcast, game I didn't have, which is awesome, Test Drive 6, complete and all that jazz, and another copy of Mario Kart 8. This would definitely be good trade bait for somebody, or, you know, flip it off or something, just, you know, recoup, maybe get some more Wii U out of this. We'll see where this goes, but yeah, thank you, Charles. Appreciate that, man. I'm not sure if you're going to watch this or not, but yeah, thank you. Um, and then I went to Amvets, I think, what, on Friday or something? Last Friday, I don't even remember. I went to Amvets, so I know. And then it was my first time in there in, like, ages, actually. And I found something which is surprising to me because I stopped going there, for, actually, for a while. Not intentionally, just due to whatever situation, but I wasn't finding anything before. And then hiatus for a while, and then came back and actually found something. I actually went, actually, today and got a shirt, but nothing game-wise. Actually, it's a sh game gaming related shirt, but nothing actually like video game. You get the point. So, um, sorry if my voice also goes in and out. My my throat's been like strange. I don't know what's going on. But anyways, for a buck, the Grinch and the PS One. I got this on the uh, Dreamcast, but I don't know if uh, Rob over there might need this. I don't know. I'm just snagging PS One games if I can get them for cheap. I'm still gonna do that, you know. Whatever, it it, it works out in the end. People will have this in it, so who cares. And this is something you're not going to believe, guys. I, I, I swear to you, this actually happened. So, in marching band, um, a fellow member of Pitt, I'm actually the section leader of Pitt, like, well, you know, if you're probably confused what I'm talking about, some of you might know what I'm talking about specifically, but, um, you know, it's in the marching band, part of the drum line, it's with, like, the xylophones, the, you know, the, the, yeah, you know what I'm talking about, the xylophones, the bigger, like, keyboard-looking instruments, to put it in dumbed-down terms. So, anyways... Um, in that section, you know, he's in there and he's like, hey, like he was talking about video games all the time, he's like, hey, I have an extra copy of this. I'll just give it to you. I'm like, okay, you don't have to do thanks. And I asked him just like, is it complete? He's like, yeah, it is. I'm like, okay. I actually wasn't expecting it to be this complete. This man, Greg, like, boy, what? <sighs> He gave me a copy of Legend of Zelda Four Swords Adventures. Just gave it to me. I mean, man, it was a little bent, but it's complete. This disc is in an in immaculate condition. I was, I mean, I was expecting some scratches, like whatever. But there's like not a speck on this thing. I was like, are you, are you kidding me? So... Yeah, just, that that gets a Zelda out of the way for me. I'm not complaining there, but like, oh my god! So th thank you again, Greg. I I still really appreciate that. And by the way, his channel will be down below. He does um let's plays. So if you wanna go drop him a sub, feel free to appreciate that. And anyways, we're back on the trade deal here. I did a trade with Corey from the Pittsburgh Retro Gaming Group. You know, I'm doing a lot of stuff with the PRG recently, and it's only going to keep growing, guys. So, 
Didn't trade with him. I traded him. Whatever. Five um, loose games because he's he had a bunch of cases that he's trying to complete, and traded I traded him five games and a bunch of like pretty much a five dollar and under super not Super Nintendo N64 titles. He's going for a set, so whatever. It's mostly sports and just whatever random BS games. I don't know. And I I don't even know how many there were. I, I don't even, frankly I don't even care because I'm trading a bunch of stuff I don't want for stuff that I want. So hey, who cares? That's how trade works. So, traded that stuff, and I got all this in return. So let's get on the line here. First up here, because it's on top, we got Pro Skater 2 on the um, Game Boy Advance and Pro Skater 2 on the Game Boy Color. I'm going for a complete Tony Hawk set, so this stuff always helps. And if any of you locally or whatever have the boxes for any of these or have any uh, complete in box Game Boy Tony Hawk games or DS Tony Hawk games, please let me know, and I will definitely be interested in getting those. Um, also here, loose on the Sega Saturn, we have Black Dawn, and we're actually take a break on the Saturn real quick. And we're gonna go to three PS2 games. You're probably gonna be slightly confused, but I'll explain in a sec. Uh, complete copy of SpongeBob's Lena Square Panis. Um, complete copy of uh, Life's Number Pants, which I need to get a new case for. I'll get it. I'll get a replacement copy eventually. And um, disc only, or missing manual of Nicktoons Unite. Why did I get Nickelodeon games? Why? Well, I'm going for a complete Nick set. I'm not sure if I mentioned that or not. I, I can't even remember anymore. The time's just flying by for me. So, yeah, got this thing because I'm going for a complete Nickelodeon set on most con on like pretty much every console I can. It's going to be an overtime thing. So, this definitely helps knock some stuff off the list. Also, we got uh, for the Wii U, which I'm I'm glad to have gotten this off the off the list because I don't I wasn't going to spend forty bucks on this thing still used. I had no interest in that. We got Xenoblade Chronicles X, you know, yeah, you guys already know this title for the most part, so, yeah, got that, I'm putting it right there. And back to the Saturn, complete, uh, true pinball, and, uh, missing manual and, like, the door, like, this whole case needs, like, a fucking, like, makeover, oh my god. Um, Shockwave Assault, you know, I figured if I get any Saturn games I can, you know, just in through trades over time, like. I don't mind that. I'm gonna. I'm slowly growing my Saturn collection. You know, it's it's one of those consoles. Uh, you all know that already. If you, generally, if you're if you're if you you yeah, the Saturn's a. Anyways, thank you to Corey for that. Appreciate that again, and hopefully we can do more trades like that, man. Uh, and also, I went to Goodwill uh, yesterday on Monday, the third, and um, well, this is the last thing I got. So first up here, I actually found two PS1 games that I was like surprised to see. Like I go back, I'm, I'm with Brian, and we're back. He's like he looked back. I'm looking at the front of the, where the DVDs are. I'm not finding much. I'm just still scraping there. He's already down corner of the store because he just whatever. And then he's like, "There's nothing back there." Like like dude, like I didn't even get to look back. There. Let me go. So we so we both just shot back there, and I, I'm I'm perusing the cards. I'm actually finding some shit. Like I found something else that I'll show you after I show you these. And then I just look in. Um, there's one case I see a bunch of like DVDs and such. I'm like, like, I'm like, okay, it looks like there's a bunch of media in there. There were there were there were video games in there. There were some video games. There was a there was a disc or missing manual copy of Time Splitters on the GameCube, the first one. I was I passed on that because like the first off, like the, the case itself was like dust. Like it literally looked like it was it looked like a dust storm. It was ridiculous, and I just didn't want you know whatever trying to get this stuff complete. So. Um, I passed on that. There was some more, definitely some other PS1 games. Um, it's like a Pro Skater 2, I believe it was Greatest Hits, but I was just, it was scratched, so I thought, whatever, not go for it. And then, these are the only two I walked away with just because of, well, one, it, yeah, this game, it's obviously a well known game, and then, a well known franchise for that matter, and then the other one was just random as shit. So, we'll go with the more known one. That is San Francisco Rush. Extreme Racing, so glad to get this. Yeah, three bucks. Yeah, I'll take that. Sure. And then I didn't even know this was a game. World's scariest police chases. Why does? Why? You know. I don't know. The PS One got a bunch of shit. Same with the PS Two and the Wii and like every handheld console. So I can't. I can't question this. And the one thing. Lastly, the thing I wasn't expecting to even find. Two bucks, I'm like, it's a little bit tattered. I'm like, okay, I'm like, sure, I'll take it. Yeah, whatever. That is 
an amiibo coaster. Yeah, like what? Why the hell is this not a Goodwill? Like, there's your the, the stickers right there. Like, why? How does this end up at? You know, I don't even want to know. But I figured two bucks, whatever. I'll get it. And I also got what the Dark Knight uh, Rises on Blu-ray. So three bucks for that also. Yeah, it's in like it's like this collector's it's like a special edition thing or whatever with like the uh, DVD and the bonus and whatever. It, it's in like the one of the sleeves, whatever. So got that just you know. Bit plus it was the one that was in Pittsburgh with Bane. That's awesome. So do moving out with some buddies, watch that, call it a day. Worth three bucks right there. So yeah, that's all that I got, guys. I just wanna I just had to show you guys some of the stuff, especially Greg again. Like what? 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 Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Seriously, I mean it. So, yeah. That's all I got, guys. Thank you so much for watching once more. If you did enjoy, please give a thumbs up down below. Uh, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. Obviously, leave a comment if you would like. Appreciate reading them. Love replying to them. So, yeah, guys. Once again, that's all. Thanks for watching. And I'll talk to you guys next time.